Okay, hello. I'm here on the suspension bridge of Ulai. Ulai is over there. I just arrived by bus. To get to Ulai, you take bus number 849. You can take the bus from Xintian MRT station. I took it from Gongguan MRT station. It took almost an hour. You pay 30 NT dollars from Gongguan and 15 NT dollars from Xintian station. The weather is great. It's hot. First I will go to the old street of Ura, which is over there. Then I will take the lock cart, the mini train, to the waterfall area. Then I will take the cable car to the Yunchen resort, which is above the waterfall. Then I will come back and maybe I will uh, dip my feet into this river. There are spots where you have uh, hot spring water coming out, so you have hot water in the cold river. So over there you can see Ulai, you can see there are two rivers converging and if you look closely in the distance you can even see the uh, cable car at the, on top of the waterfall. So here you can see the bus station of Ulai right beside the suspension bridge and from here to the old streets only a minute or two. So this way to Ulai Old Street. Originally there was a public hot spring bath area over there, right beside the river. But this has been dismantled and I'm not sure what they are doing with it now. So this is the entrance to Ulai's Old Street. You pass this uh, bridge over the river and then you will come to a lot of shops and eateries. Ula is an indigenous village. You will see a lot of uh, imagery like this. And the tribes people here are from the Atayal tribe, Tayatsu. So this is the smaller river at Ula. And you can see the buildings are very close to the water. And you can imagine if uh, during a typhoon the river water rises to a very high level that uh, all these buildings are in danger of uh, being damaged. So as you can see, it's really quiet here today. Okay, I'm now here at the Ulai Ataya Museum. Here you can learn about the local tribe. Let's go inside and have a look. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film inside. Maybe I'll take a few photos. I just finished visiting the museum. It's very nice, small, entrance is free. You can learn about the Ataya tribe, like the weaving art, uh, the food, their houses and so on. So it's very quiet here on Ula Old Street during a weekday. But as you can see, the um, the shops are open, you can buy food and buy gifts. All right, I'm here on the second bridge. Looking down, uh, this is the Nanshu River. And over there you can see the station of the uh, mini train. One of the things you want to do in Ulai is taking the lock cart, which you can see here. You can take the train from here to the waterfall area. It takes about maybe 10 minutes. Here you can learn a bit about the history of the lock cart system from 1928 to 1963. It served as the logging. The man powered railway carts were used to transport locks. Then in the 50s they became tourist trains and then they were 
motorized and later in 2015 they had the typhoon Sue de Lore and for two, two years it was suspended the service and now it's up and running again. Yes, the ticket window and as you can see it's $50 one way. The train starts there and then makes the way to the waterfall station. The waterfall is here. You can take the cable car to the Unchandelion, which is a bit above the waterfall. Alright, I'm, I'm on the uh, train, right behind the driver. So the uh, very small train, very loud. That was fun. Took about five minutes or maybe seven. And here we have the waterfall and the river, beautiful scenery. I'm now here at the Ulai waterfall area. Behind me you can see the beautiful Ulai waterfall. go to the cable car station. To get to the cable car station you have to walk a few stairs. Tickets are 220 NT dollars for adults. This is the view you get when you take the cable car above the waterfall. Beautiful scenery. Free, yeah. So these binoculars are quite powerful. You can see all the way down there to um, the Old Street area. It's like using my tele lens. I will show you now. So here you can see the Old Street area in the distance. So and this is what you can see through the binoculars. Very clearly you can see the Old Street area and the red suspension bridge. So just behind the cable car station is this beautiful waterfall. Alright, I'm now here at the entrance to the Unchen Resort Park. And here you can see the map of the park. We are I'm here right now, so I have to walk up here. Here we have uh, an area with rowing boats 
Not sure if they are operating right now. Basically, you can walk around, follow the arrows, walk around and have a look. Okay, can you see that? No one here. That's so great about Ulai on a weekday. It's totally deserted. You have the place almost to yourself and you can enjoy the scenery, waterfalls, trees, nature. It's really quiet. It's the only noise is the water from the waterfall. This way or that way? This way, okay. Thank you. All right, this is the, the rowing boat pond. No one is rowing there, but I can see boats over there. I'm here on the Red Bridge in the Incheon Resort Park. Beautiful day, not many people here, so I like it. All right, here are the rowing boats. $120. I think you can go for one hour or so. Oh yeah, I'm rowing. It's fun. I love it. The water is very shallow. The pond is very small. I love rowing. I love it more than uh, kayaking because you, you don't sit so awkwardly like in a kayak. As you can see, I'm the only one here. I feel a bit uh, silly. There's no one else on the pond, so you can't hit someone. Just finished drawing on the pond down there. That was fun. So this is the <coughs> cafe and restaurant building of Unchen Resort. Here we have a fortune telling machine. It says put in ten dollars and you will receive something. Let's try it. Music. She's going to the temple and now She's coming back and she has like a sheet of paper. Let's see what it says. It's all in Chinese, of course. As far as I can tell, it's all good news. I will get rid of bad things and the good things will happen. Come on a suspension bridge here on a little one. And I've just showed that uh, there's an area where you can Shoot arrows, yeah, I like that. Amusement park left, beer bar, coffee house, archery range. This way. Here are the bows and here are the targets. 15 arrows is $80. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Coffee time. This coffee it's very strong and now milk. They have pheasants as well. Here's the blue one. Get the boat rowing, get the archery, did get my coffee. I think now it's time to leave Unchen Resort Park and go back to the cable car station. So overall, today's little trip to Ulai was a lot of fun. It's great to be here on a weekday. It's very quiet and relaxed. Here you can see the K2 
cable car station from above. Let's have an ice cream before I go down. There's one cable car ready, ready to rumble. I take the next one. I have time. Just came back from the um, Yunchen Resort up there <coughs> and let's have a look at the waterfall in the afternoon. Back at the mini train station, these people are taking the train. I am walking. I am walking back to the Wall Street area. It's about a kilometer, it takes maybe 15 minutes. It's an easy walk. Such a beautiful river down there. check out what's going on at the river here you have spots where there's cold river water and warm hot spring water and here you can see people bathing already all right it's definitely warm here this is not warm this is all warm water now it gets cold from the river the rocks are very slippery, so you have to watch out. Oh yeah, I found a spot which is really hot. So they built these pools and let cold water in, so it's not, it's really hot off down there. So if you go here, it's really cold. So, so everyone has this little pool and enjoys hot spring water. I just uh, found a super small frog. It's like here on my... Can you see it? It's awesome. Can you see it? Oh no, it's... 